guys, I'm back with another diet update. Well, life change update, whatever you want to call it. Been in sort of a plateau. It's been kind of hard to get out of for the last couple of weeks. I'm down 69 pounds, which is great, and another pant size, which really is what matters the most. I feel good, have energy, and, and you know, really at the end of the day, it's about getting healthy, and the weight loss is just sort of a side benefit of that. So 69 pounds. And I'll uh, continue to keep you updated on that. Um, this week, though, I want to do a video on what I call corporate diets. Corporate diets are any type of diet where there's a company that is producing some sort of, some sort of product or some sort of plan, things like that, that cost you money in an attempt to lose weight. Now, I'm going to do a short series on these. I'm going to do four different ones. Uh, I'm going to do one on the supplement plans where corporations come up with some sort of a uh, bunch of powder they put in capsules and swear to God to you that you're going to lose extra weight and more weight and this and that and the other by taking their pills. So we'll talk about that. I have experience with that. There's the uh, meal replacement diets where you create a, you have some sort of shake or something in place of another of one of your meals and that is supposed to help you lose weight and do create miracles for you. Uh, Slim Fast is the one that comes to mind. I have experience with that. I'll talk about that at another time. Then there's plans where you buy all your meals from this particular corporation and uh, places like Jenny Craig are a good example of that. Jenny Craig has been around a long time since about 72. And the thing is with the things that have been around a long time, they must work to some degree or they wouldn't because so many diets come and go. And diet plans and ideas and whatever they come and go throughout the years and the ones that stick around must have something to them so that's the sort of complete meal replacement kind of diet then there's ones who have a diet plan that you kind of have to work yourself and that of course would be something like Weight Watchers which is the one I'm going to talk about today I do have experience with Weight Watchers uh, Weight Watchers basically it's a diet plan that you follow and if you follow and do what they tell you then you lose weight. That's what their concept. Uh, they've been around 60 years. 1963 is when Weight Watchers got started. For me, I thought I'd give it a go. And I did it, trying to get the dates right. Late 90s, early 2000s. But that was my marker for the heaviest I've ever been. I went to Weight Watchers weighing 426 pounds. Followed their program. And in three months, lost 75. But I also lost... A lot of interest and stop going. So here's how, how Weight Watchers works. Everything that you eat or all the foods you, you eat uh, is assigned a point value. And based on your height, weight, sex, age, goals, those sorts of things, you're assigned a point total. And this point total is the amount of points you are allowed to eat on a daily basis. If you eat only those points in theory you lose weight and the stick with this or their game plan which is actually smart to keep people going is you can eat anything you want as long as you don't eat more than your points seems reasonable uh, one of the point things that's always stuck with my head is that a bagel has eight points so if you're a, a female most ladies have in the low to mid 20 point range a day. I was at the time like 49 points, which is actually a lot of food. Anyway, uh, a bagel had eight points where two glazed donuts actually had six. So it just goes to show you the density of the food that a bagel is. And that's a, one of the point things that always crossed my mind. So the, the then besides keeping track of your points and you get a little calculator, uh, probably apps, apps for your phone and stuff like that. You find yourself going through stores thinking about the points of all these different foods and they've got barcodes now where you boop and tell you the points per serving, that kind of thing. And, uh, but the problem of course is over time you get tired of keeping track of your points. Uh, I mean, the whole premise and the idea is portion control and calorie counting. Really, it's a form of that is what it is, portion control and calorie counting. Um, so besides that, you go to weekly meetings where you weigh in and you sit down with a bunch of other people. You've got a leader, uh, your rah-rah person, if you will, 
and you sit there and chat about your week and they have some sort of lesson or idea for you to follow the next week. Now, of course, besides that, they've got a myriad of cookbooks, utensils, scales, all this other stuff they want you to buy. Outside of the meetings and things and storage, you can buy Weight Watchers meals. So you gotta remember with all these things, the purpose of any of these things for them is to make money. That's it. They're not concerned about your health, really. They're not concerned about your weight loss. They're concerned about their bottom line. And so with the Weight Watchers thing, one of the things I got really tired of is in the meetings, they really caught all those people who don't lose weight. Now, I'm when I was going, it was 90% women, it was. There was a few guys there and most of them needed to lose like 20 or 25 pounds and they were there really to support their wives, which is great. That was one of the few that was really there to lose a ton of weight. But they're really designed, and I'd be in general, but they're really designed for a sensitivity towards ladies. Um, it's always, in any of the meetings, there's always a certain number of, of people who gain, a certain number who lose. And there's really a select few who really take it seriously and lose a lot. But it makes sense. I mean, they need you to go to the meetings every single week because they need to make money. They need you to buy all their utensils and cookbooks and all of that other stuff because they need to make money. So what happens when you go to these meetings is they don't necessarily encourage you to continue to lose weight. They're like, it's okay, it's okay. Next week's another week. Next week's another week. You'll be fine next week. And they get this whole idea where all these ladies, and again, I'm sorry to generalize, but that was my experience. And Weight Watch is a great place to meet women, guys. <laughs> There's a ton of women there. Anyway, um, it was always this sort of emotional, you're going to be okay thing. Uh, after a couple months of that, and it didn't work for me. <laughs> I need the military guy. I need the... The drill sergeant in, and you know, uh, full metal jacket. What's the matter with you, fat man? You big fat man put down the fork, you slime ball. You shoving them donuts down your gullet. I'm going to kick your ass. That's the kind of leader I needed. Like, I didn't need, it's going to be a better week next week. But it makes sense. They need these people to go every single week, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight. Because it keeps them going to the meetings. Uh, it's it's really a conflict of interest and that's not I saw that but that's not the real reason I left I, I, I got tired of going to the meetings I got tired of counting points and the thing is even after you quit you find yourself counting points and thinking about food in a with a point value but the other problem with it is it doesn't really concentrate on nutrition see I look at it I don't want to put bad things in my body they don't check your insulin resistance. You know, most people who are overweight have some level of insulin resistance. They could be diabetic, pre-diabetic. They could have other problems. They're not interested in that, at least not then. Um, so they weren't eating healthy necessarily. You're still allowed to eat your pizza. You're still allowed to drink your Coke. You're still allowed to eat really bad fried food and cake and all of that stuff because it just simply has a point value. Now, the concept is great. It'll keep people going if they don't have to give that stuff up. But from a healthy perspective... It's not in people's best interest as far as I'm concerned. And that was part of the problem. Now, I went back a few years later to try it again. And as time goes on, Weight Watchers adjusts their, pro adjusts their program with the trends and whatever. I think the first time I went through, they were on the whole low fat kick, which we all know is a disaster, right? But the second time I went through, I quit really quickly. And the reason was because I still had a high point for like 49 points, but they had removed fruit from the point total. That is massively wrong. I am of the opinion you should really not eat a lot of fruit unless you're already healthy. If you have to lose weight, want to lose weight, or you're any sort of pre-diabetic and all of that, fruit is loaded with bad sugar. And whatever nutrients you get from the fruit don't outweigh the bad of the sugar. They just don't. It is way better to stay away from fruit. 
Because basically, and I went to them point blank and said, look, what you're telling me is that I can eat two pounds of cherries, which happen to be my favorite fruit, <laughs> two pounds of cherries, and I don't have to count the points. Not only is that wrong from a healthy perspective, but if you're eating a lot of fruit, you're not losing weight, which keeps you at their meetings longer and longer, week after week. It is, to me, incredibly wrong. And unless they've changed their diet uh, concept and really are thinking about people's health, telling people they don't have to worry about counting fruit is, you might as well count, it. Don't not count donuts. Honestly, there's so much sugar in that stuff, it's just not good for you. So I thought that was just totally ridiculous. I started seeing it more as a scam because at the end of the day, you have to remember, all these commercial diets are not interested in your weight loss or your health. They're interested in their bottom line. I'm going to say, look, Weight Watchers works for people. But if you notice, a lot of people go back and leave and go back and leave and go back and leave. It's because it works for a little while and then they get tired of it. But because it did work before, they try it again and so on and so forth. Then they have friends that have tried it. Then it's like, okay, I'll go do it with you. And then, so that's, I think, how Weight Watchers is managed, you know, to go by for 60 years because the plan does work generally speaking but i still don't think it's the best way to go to lose weight eating properly is the only way to go it works really well best for your body and it makes you feel great so it's a little bit long if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them about weight watchers i say do whatever works for you but i don't think you need to concentrate on the weight loss it's the eating properly part and getting healthy part the weight loss is the benefit of that all right guys that's enough 69 pounds for me i'm on a plateau right now i'm headed to the mountains this week hopefully i'll uh, burn some calories or some fat or something uh thanks for checking it out take care until next time